hello hello we got ourselves another car video kenny evans here you know and uh if you're new i am a guy who uh, helps people men and women uh with the life uh when it comes to health wealth uh um obviously the mindset as well health wealth mindset um and obviously relationships all this good stuff so i welcome you and i appreciate you coming and watching this uh, video um but the topic of this uh, video here is strong men are in control of their emotions before I get started, in addition to what I'm all about here in this channel, I would like for you to hit that notification button, subscribe, and if you find value in this video, or if you just want to support me, whether you're new or if you've been here for a while, hit the like button. I appreciate it, you know? So, let's get started on the topic. Strong men are in control of their emotions. So this is very important because you got a lot of men who can complain about a lot of things and who like to blame a lot of people and, you know, think everybody else is to blame and they have no sort of uh, impact on their lives or what happens to them. And this just this isn't just about with women. This is in their lives in general, you know, and um, you got a lot of people who are really um, victims, you know what I mean? They let their emotions flow like the wind, depending on what's happening, they will go there, if something good happened, they'll go there, if something bad's happened, they'll go there. They have no uh, emotional self-control, you know, and their mind, therefore, is not uh, very uh, controlled as well. They let their mind waver like their emotions, you know, so this topic is very important. Um, not just for dating when it comes to dealing with women, uh, but also just in life in general, dealing with anybody and having, um, dealing with negative situations, you know, so, um, I am glad to be talking about this because it is definitely very important for life. So first and foremost, we strong men, we are like mountains. Regardless of what happens, we are sturdy. We just let it roll off of us. We are sturdy like mountains and we don't change that easily. You know, it has to be something that's very uh, high value or very important that will make us rock. Because of course, we're still humans. But we are like mountains first and we do not easily sway when adversity comes. You know, and that is something you always got to keep in mind being like a mountain and it takes practice and it takes effort, you know, but it is very, very useful to do when you finally get there. Ooh -wee. It's a little warm, but it's all good. So first, yes, strong men, we're like mountains. Second, we keep our mind, our minds positive and focused on what we want. It doesn't matter the situation. You could be about to get in a fight. You could focus your mind and say, hey, this guy will relax. He will calm down. Obviously, this will de-escalate. And as you focus your mind in that direction, your actions will it will. Um, go in that direction and sure when things get rough if somebody let's say you're in a fight or you're uh potentially in a fight guys in your face yelling at you pushing you you know what i mean you can focus your mind on hey things will be all right you'll calm down this thing will de-escalate but of course if he swings on you then you have the right to defend yourself because that is your way of de-escalating the situation you know so but beforehand, if he doesn't, focus your mind, you know, see, ah, he's just mad, maybe he's having a bad day, just kind of be cool, be calm, relax, 
it'll be all right. Everything will be all right. You know, it'll calm down. Everything will de-escalate. And it just focus on that until you have to do something else, you know. Or if you're dealing with women who are angry and difficult, say, hey, you have your way. You stay calm. But you have your way with them. You know what I mean? And, of course, if they don't change, you know, if they they um, not fitting your standards, you let them go. If they do, then, man, you keep them around. You know what I mean? It's very simple. You know, so your mind always has to be focused on what you want and keep, it has to stay positive. That is crucial for dealing with uh, um, your emotions. You know, so, but yes, number three here, we control what we can't control and we let go of what we can't control. Again, you're not going to cry over spilled milk. You know, you're not going to be getting mad over something you have no control over. You know, you're not going to be getting, your girl wants to leave. You're going to talk about it a little bit, but if she still wants to leave, what are you going to do? You can't kidnap her. You can't force her. You're going to let her go. You know, you're having bad situations at your job. First, of course, you got to talk about it, you know, and if that doesn't work, if you really have to stay at that job, you don't feel like you could get another job at that moment, then sure, you got to change your mindset about it. Say, hey, this is only temporary. You know, I'm going to, you know, do what I got to do, get this money and, and move on. You know what I mean? And if you have to get a side hustle, something that will alleviate your need for that job or get, find another job if you whenever you can you know your mindset is super powerful and that will help you get through any situation because it's not about the situation any experience or situation that's happening it's what you think about the experience your mind controls your emotions your emotions control how you respond or how you react in a situation so you have to be able to control, stay in control of your mind Think about the positive. Say, hey, this will be all right. This too shall pass, you know, and be focused on what you want. You know, where the mind goes, so shall your life. Because there is a great saying. Where you are in life is a accumulation, accumulation of your best thinking. Of your best thinking. Your best th thinking has gotten you where you are here today in life so if you don't like where you are in life you have to change the way you think it's very very important and that's what you do in negative situation again it takes practice or dealing with negative people again it takes practice but it's just like riding a bike you know uh, driving a car whatever you were new at you weren't good at it first until you got better, kept on practicing. You failed, got back up, kept on practicing. Just like learning to walk. You know what I mean? Once you get the routine down, you'll be able to do it whenever. It'll be much more comfortable and easy for you. You know? But yes, number four. We strong men have people in our lives who fit in our lives positively. You're not going to have a woman who's constantly nagging you where you have to constantly be able to control your mind and fight against her negativity. You're not going to do that as a strong man. You're not going to be constantly at a job that is that you hate. Of course, unless if you have to in the moment, and then you change your mindset and you focus on getting away or getting out of that job. But you're not going to be staying there being miserable with no solution. You know, you're not going to be around um, just dealing with things that that you don't enjoy and that you don't that affect your, your life in a negative way. You're not going to deal with it. It just won't happen. Because as a strong man, we are all about making our lives easier, better and more fun. So we're going to do that at, at, at any cost. People thing situations they're gonna uh, benefit us in a positive way you know so but and that's the thing you always got to realize what 
is is whatever in my life is it serving me in a positive way the job people situations and if it's not you either change your mind about it or you change the situation you know but number five last but not least strong man we do what makes us happy again it's all about what is serving us in a positive way if it's not serving us in a positive way, we either get rid of it or change our mindset about it until we can get rid of it. You know, so it's very important that you always realize, you know, how you think about something will therefore control your emotions. If you think positively about it, you'll be in a positive state. If you think negatively about it, you'll be in a negative state. So your mindset is very important when it comes to your emotions in any situation. And sure, sometimes it's easier to do it than others, but you have to do your best and you have to practice regardless of the situation, have a positive mindset, um, and then focus on what you want. And when you have the ability, have things and people around you that fit in your life positively and always do what makes you happy. And if you can't, Find ways you can, you know. So that's all I got for y'all today. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Be notified for when I upload other videos. Um, of course, uh, let me know whether you agree or disagree, whether I left something out or you thought it was spot on. Um, and of course, I always appreciate donations. If you found value in the video, donate. You know, that's always good. Um, and uh, last but not least, you know, I will see y'all next week. And I want y'all to always remember, this channel is not just for me. It's for you guys. So let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. It doesn't have to be just in dating relationship. I mean, mindset, health, wealth, you know, um, it doesn't matter. Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. I definitely appreciate it. But of course, again, you know, I will see you guys next week. Y'all stay safe. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.